Welcome. In this video we would like to show you how to record a dictation with the Dicta 420 dictation device from Grundig Business Systems. We will also explain how to play back a dictation, insert a passage into an existing dictation and delete a dictation. We will also show you how to switch on the easy mode on the device. Here the buttons only have the basic functions for dictating. The display has a very clear design. The easy mode uses settings from full mode such as microphone sensitivity and listen workflow. The Dicta 420 control elements. Firstly we would like to show you the individual buttons and switches on the device. On the left is the on off switch labelled with off, hold and on. On the right side of the Dicta 420 you can see the red recording button and the slide switch. You can switch between the recording and playback operating modes with the recording button. The slide switch has four functions. Fast forward, stop and start for recording or playing a dictation as well as rewind. In addition to these functions the Dicta 420 has two selection buttons, two navigation buttons and a new button for recording a new dictation. Recording a dictation. We would now like to show you how to record a dictation. First slide the on off switch down to the on position. Grundig Business Systems appears in the display and the name of the configured author. A short signal is emitted. Then the standard display appears. The battery status is shown in the top right corner of the display. Underneath you can see how much recording time is available to you and the microphone sensitivity your device is set to. The current time is shown in the top left corner provided you have already set it. You can see the menu sign in the bottom right corner of the display. Now click on the new button. You can see that your Dicta 420 is ready to use from the red blinking LED at the top of the display. In the display you will now see the sign for pause on the left which is the actual function as well as the name and number of the dictation. Now slide the switch from the stop to the start position to start recording. The recording starts. You can now see that the LED flashes red all the time. A red circle also appears in the display on the left which stands for recording. The length of the dictation and the dictation position are shown in the bottom right corner of the display. Now you can dictate your text. To end the dictation move the slide switch to stop and then click on the red recording button. The LED goes off and the dictation length is shown continuously. Playing back a dictation. Select the desired dictation with the navigation buttons. You can play back the dictation by moving the slide switch to start. Inserting a text passage into an existing dictation. Now we would like to demonstrate how you can insert a text passage into an existing dictation. Move the slide switch to start to listen to the desired dictation. Then move the slide switch to stop during playback when you have reached the desired position of the dictation where you want to insert a new text. Now press the left selection button. This opens the modify menu. Confirm the insert by pressing the right selection button. Then confirm the insert part item with the right selection button. You can now insert the passage in the existing dictation. The LED flashes and the sign for insert appears in the display. Now slide the switch from the stop to the start position to start recording. The recording starts. The LED now lights up all the time. Move the slide switch to stop and press the recording button to finish. Deleting a dictation. We would now like to show you how to delete a dictation. If you have already saved several dictations then select one of them with the navigation buttons. Click on the left selection button for the dictation you want to delete. The modify menu opens. Now select the delete item with the navigation buttons. Confirm by pressing the right selection button. Confirm by clicking twice on the right selection button. The dictation is deleted. Switching on easy mode. Finally we would like to show you how to switch on the easy mode on the Dicta 420. The buttons here have the most important functions for dictating. To switch on the easy mode press the new button, move the switch to the on and press the new button at the same time until the Grundig Business Systems logo appears in the display. You can now see that device is in easy mode by the different display. To return to full mode, first switch off the device. Press the new button and whilst holding it down switch on the Dicta 420 by moving the switch to on. The device is now back in full mode again. 
Now you are familiar with some of the basic functions of the Dicta 420. Grundig Business Systems hopes you enjoy dictating.